It all started from when I was overweight, when I was addicted to video games and junk food. I was not accepted into society and just shunned away. And when video games were finally taken away from my life, I got depressed. And so this is where my story began of self-improvement. I began distancing myself from junk foods and learning more about nutrition, learning more about exercise, weightlifting, cardio, all these different kinds of things. And where am I now? Throughout my whole life, I loved eating food and playing video games. The eating food was a free source of dopamine and because good food was always available everywhere and I had a huge appetite, I'd eat it up like Nikocado Avocado. Video games gave me free satisfaction and free sense of accomplishment. It made me feel like I was the best in the world, being acknowledged by even top pro players in Pixel Gun. Back to the point, this resulted in me playing video games for several hours a day, not getting any social connections, not getting any exercise, and still eating terrible food. I was getting bullied, I had no friends, I had no social connections, and when my parents finally decided to take away video games from my life, I had nothing else and got depressed and sad. In 2022, I decided to change everything. See, exercise was part of my mind for a very long time. However, I couldn't get consistent because I was just a lazy doo-doo head. So in 2022, I forced myself. I had a pair of green dumbbells in my basement and heaviest was 10 pounds. And I struggled to even curl the 10 pound dumbbells at 180 pounds. Now that's terrible relative strength. These few moments I actually decided to perform physical activity rather than eating crap food, I felt alive for the first time. I couldn't believe how good exercise felt because of this feeling, because of this sense of feeling alive, exercise became an addiction because everything else I did in life was sad. So exercise really did help bring life into me. In December 2022, I finally got into the gym. I felt more alive, I felt more confident, I got a bit stronger, and see, no more was I a chunky monkey eating instant noodles five times a week. No, I was more than that. I was a guy whose only goal is to get better in life. I literally tackled the problems I had in life, got rid of most of them, and am now trying to achieve better things in life. I'm getting more sleep now. I've avoided all the sweet crap foods. I'm getting enough exercise right now. I'm socializing a bit more, going outside in nature more, getting better grades, you know, all the better stuff. For me, this all stems down to physical fitness and getting stronger. For some, it can be for starting a new business, trying to get some new social connections and new friends. But see, I'm not done yet. This journey will never end until the day I die. I wanna get stronger. I wanna get more subscribers on YouTube. I want to achieve better things. So where does this all lead? Just to a better version of myself, living a better life. A better life where I can finally be at peace with what I've accomplished and inspire others and pass on this knowledge that I've installed in my mind to the next generation. Although I'm not really qualified, I'll be posting my own journey on YouTube. I'm still young and I still have a lot of time to learn. So throughout this journey, I want to show you all what is possible for using myself as an example on YouTube and my other social media accounts. If you do want to follow me and see where I go in life, please subscribe. I'm also trying to hit 1,000 subscribers in 2024. If you want to see more insights, follow my other socials, link in the description. I truly do appreciate all of you right now watching this very special video that I've created. If you want to see more content, make sure to subscribe.